Across North Carolina, there are more than 36,000 power outages. Guilford County is the county with the most outages and nearly 12,000 people in the dark. And to break that down, that means about one in every three power outages in the state are in Guilford County. And one place affected is a locally owned grocery store in Stokesdale. WFMI News 2's Daniel Cruz talked with the store's managers about what this means for their business. Ariel, as you can see, this intersection, the lights are working, indicating the power is on there. But just feet away, this grocery store lost power more than 24 hours ago. So far, they've only been able to restore about a third of their power, leaving them to do all they can to keep their groceries cold. We have not had a smooth ride. Jennifer Wren, the store manager at the buy rate grocery store in Stokesdale, says as soon as the registers went down yesterday, she knew it was bad news. So we kind of thought it would be like normal where it's, you know, they're out working for a while and then it comes back up pretty soon. So we just keep all the cooler doors closed. And the limited power supply right now is preventing the compressors from running to keep the coolers and freezers chilled, causing thousands of pounds of food to go bad. I mean, that's a whole lot more money tied up that we, you know, are at risk of losing and that we well, we did lose a lot of it. Um, there's only so much you can do, you know, to to save it when it's when you're racing the clock. The store's receiving manager, Michelle Holt, says they have a lot of work to do ahead of them because of this outage, taking inventory and throwing out food they're not able to salvage. A lot of good uh, customers, they've even offered to, can we come out and help? Duke Energy officials say they understand customers are frustrated. They want customers to know that they're working to get the power back on. 10,000 crew members are on the ground right now and we're coming for you. So if your power is still, still out, we are still working and we will not stop until we're done. Rand is looking on the bright side, hoping the lights come back on soon. We do, we are fortunate, you know, that we're not in different parts of the country, you know, where where they got hit really hard. So we're very fortunate, we're thankful, but at the same time, you know, we like to, we'd like to be able to serve our community. Believe it or not, this is the first time the owner has had to close the store for a power outage of this magnitude since they opened back in 1965. The, one of their distributors luckily was able to loan a couple of trailers so they could keep some of their cold foods frozen or refrigerated. They do plan to stay closed until power is fully restored.